Okay, so people in positions of power, should we feel sorry for them? Well, today, uh, this is Bits of History, my name's Stuart Wood, we're going to be speaking, uh, well I'm going to be telling you about a story from Greek mythology. I, won't, I don't really want to call it a story, because, or like a, a, you know, a part of their mythology, because it doesn't involve the gods at all, so I'm going to say it's more of a legend. It's, um, it's called the Sword of Damocles. Uh, as you can see from my notes, I literally just wrote down the title because I thought I know the story quite well, and I'm not going to waste my time with uh, writing shitty bollocks down. I'm going <laughs> to shitty bollocks. <laughs> I'm going to tell you it my way. Right? <laughs> so basically, um, I'll explain the intro after yeah, I've told you the story. So let's quickly tell the story first. It's basically set somewhere in Greece. Um, but where, where exactly is not important. But there's a king called Dionysius, all right, and it's not that's not to be confused with the god and my favourite of the Greek pantheon, uh, Dionysus. The only similarities that they share is that they're both powerful, both men, and both like drinking beer. Right? <laughs> but so King Dionysius, he's sitting there on his throne. He's got this servant, uh, this man called Damocles, and so basically Dionysius. Uh, sees that Damocles is looking sad, he's looking quite down, and he asks him what's wrong. And Damocles is like, look, man, <laughs> mate, I was out doing the gardens and I saw like the birds were chirping away happily and they were flying around free. And then I came in here and I see you and you're, you know, you're looking splendid, you're sitting there in all your finery, you're looking fantastic, you've got all this, you know, all this pleasurable stuff around you, you live a life of leisure. And... I just kind of feel like, you know, why did God choose you to be uh, this great and for me to live in servitude? Like, why did the gods ignore me, you know? And so Dionysus is kind of like, well, do you think it's easy <laughs> being a man of power? And Damocles is like, yes. <laughs> so, that, so Dionysus goes, all right then. He gets up, passes his mojito to one of his other servants and goes, there you are, you sit down on the throne then, you take the throne and you could be king for a day. So Damocles jumps up and he's like, yeah, fuck this, I'm going <laughs> I'm, I'm to get to enjoy all this pleasure, you know, pleasurable things of life. So he jumps up on the throne and then Dionysius orders a sword to be hung by the pommel, which is the, you know, the handle, if you're not used to, if you don't know how swords are or how they work <laughs> it's yeah so the pommel and to be hung up above his head by a single strand of a horse's towel hair so at any minute that sword could break right now Damocles is sitting there not so happy about his position anymore because he's a little bit shitting himself right <laughs> you've got a sword dangling above your head if that horse hair breaks it'll you know slice him in twain <laughs> or at least stab him through the head so, <laughs> basically, <laughs> Damocles is unsure as to, as to why, why Dionysius has done this. And Dionysius explains, like, this is what it's like to be in power. It's like, you know, you, you look at me and you see me dressed in all of my finery. You see me drinking mojitos and, you know, fucking any endless amounts of women that I want to, you know, have sexual relations with. You see me spending money buying slaves and all this stuff, and you think that my life is easy, but with great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> I don't know what comic book that comes from, but it's I'm pretty sure it's a comic crappy quotation. But it's, 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 more or less, it's more or less true, though, because that's what he's saying. Like, to be a king, you're always under that constant threat of, of wars, of rebellion, of poisoning so you, you, you're always you know you've always got this <laughs> looming threat to deal with literally dangling above your head like the the sword hung from a single you know horse towel strand of hair so Damocles learns his lesson it's like you know like it's not it's one thing to be powerful but with more power uh, there comes more threat so you know, like so that's that's pretty much where the story ends, and we're left with you know trying to break down uh, what this kind of means. Uh, there's the, the, the um there was a politician called Cicero during the Roman 
uh, it during the Roman times when um the ancient during ancient Rome when Julius like he was one of the adversaries of Julius Caesar. And them two got on like the best of enemies, like <laughs> essentially. Um, Cicero uses it as a story to explain virtue, but the thing is that living in today's time, if we're trying to relate this to now, like how does that sword fit into the feature of today's world? You know, how does that sword? <laughs> How does that towel of uh, you know from ancient Greece uh, fit into the feature that feature today's world? The thing is, I kind of get it. Like with more power, you're more open to you know being broken down, to being beaten, to 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 dying essentially. But <laughs> I'm just, I just I it's I love the story because I love I love what it represents. It's just it's it's just the meaning of the story is not something I'm that into. Like, if you're an all-powerful person, surely if you are good, if you're good to your neighbours, if you take everyone's, you know, humanistic values into into consideration, then no one's going to want to rebel against you. No one's going to want to um, poison you. You might still get wars because there's always greedy arseholes out there, but you're going to have a lot of people backing you. So I don't think that this story is good to explain why certain people have power and why other people don't because it's because another part of the story is Damocles is sitting there and he's scared of the sword above his head and in and in a sense it's like saying you know I King Dionysius am not scared of that sword above my head it's what I have to deal with it's my place in life you can't be me Damocles <laughs> because you're a servant and you're in fear of the sword, you're in fear of the threat. But to be fair, Damocles has only ever known fear, he's grown up as a servant. There's loads of things that could, you know, could happen to him in his life. He's got like the, fear, the threat of disease, he's got the threat of being killed by his own king if he speaks out of turn or, or does something stupid, you know? So, either way, <laughs> I, I, think, I think in this, in this narrative, Damocles, had the sword not been hung above his head, probably would have been better person in sense than Dionysius and yet as I just said that <laughs> I'm now disagreeing with myself this is why I love this story because it makes me it troubles me <laughs> and it puzzles me so the moral of this story is <laughs> the moral of this history lesson that I've given you is that power can mean more threat but Fuck them. <laughs> All right. So that's a bit, but I like the story. Tell the story to everyone. There's there's loads of other ones that you can uh, look up from the Greek mythology. I think you should you should give it a go, and maybe I'll tell you more of their stories as well. They're not always as complicated as this one. Like for instance, the story of um, how the Minotaur was made because it was some woman that fucked a bull. All right. <laughs> Yeah, you could say it's confusing, but <laughs> but but either way, like there's loads of stories I could tell you. This one, the Sword of Damocles, I think you have to be a certain type of person to take from this uh, story what you think the meaning is. Like, are you on the side of power or are you on the side of the servant? Do you under do you, are you apathetic to both? Do you understand what both versions what both versions mean? Personally, I don't feel sorry for Dionysius. I feel sorry for Damocles for being given an opportunity to be king for a day and yet have an arsehole hang a sword over his head. <laughs> because who knows, Damocles might have been a brilliant king had you know, had he been given the opportunity. But everything back in those times it's all down to the gods. Certain people are in certain places because the gods have made it so. Either way, read the story for yourself. Look it up. King Dionysius or the servant Damocles. Tell me whose side you're on. Tell me what you think about the story. You know, with power, th there's the obvious parts. With power, there is. Uh, you are at risk of losing it. Like, you are at risk of being killed. There's a lot more people. The more known you are, the more people hate you. The more known you are, the more people w w w would want you dead. So, I get what he's saying. 
but I sympathise with Damocles. <laughs> anyway, you have been watching a very confusing episode of Bits of History. I hope you've enjoyed it, and you know, stay safe, peace and love to everyone out there, and I'll see you soon. As a quick note, just before I leave, um, you can contact us on uh, Bits of History 2014 at Gmail dot com. You can also subscribe to us at, um, on Facebook. Just type in Bits of History in the Facebook. Uh, search bar you've got our twitter which is um <laughs> we've just made it so ignore that one i'll come back to that no it should be boh podcast yeah at boh podcast you've also got our uh internet page like our web page which is bits of history and and yeah and we'll have the first episode of frank sinatra out today so check out our facebook you'll find it on there and we are recording our second one. So, again, have a good day, people, and I'll see you all soon.